Welcome to Center of Light Radio. Color and living color. You are alive. And it's Decolores. The Spanish for color. Decolores. Merry Christmas. And living color. I got some new things I'm brewing up. I'm stewing up a pot of spiritual gumbo. Do y'all remember many years ago? Many years ago, Burger King had a sandwich called the Yumbo. Anybody remember that? It'll tell how old you are. <laughs> Hello, Elaine Leonard. Hello, Kelly Bird. Kelly says, I am a sexy, sparkling human being. Welcome to Center of Light Radio. Center of Light TV, radio, whatever you call it. Color. Center of Light Radio on Center of Light Online Radio. Color. I need a little twist, an acronym. My son came up with it, actually. My little kitty cat is dancing all around. Her name is Crystal. Are you, are we, crystal clear? Hopefully, tonight we will be. Tonight I am speaking about Center of Light Consciousness. What in the is consciousness? What is consciousness? You can't put that in a box, even in your ideas of trying to give it a definition. The definition pales in comparison to what consciousness is. It's infinite. It's in the finite self. Consciousness is infinite, and it lies within the finite. Tonight is creation, connection, change. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 2020 has been a humdanger, summer gun. Took us all in a spun around the planet a few times. Robert, again, thank you for this beautiful ring. I love it. It's very powerful. So tonight is creation, connection, change, consciousness, four C's. You can have all the vitamin C you want. Rose hips are the best supply. Did you know that bell pepper, the more you know, <laughs> did you know that bell pepper has more vitamin C than oranges? Look it up. <laughs> So tonight we're gonna I'm gonna have some fun. I, I love all the topics I do, but especially the ones that lean into what tonight's feeling. I give it labels, I give it titles, sense of light consciousness. That's be, that's way beyond the title. Creation is way beyond the title. Connection and change. These are all small ideas to paint something that is majestic and grandiose and forever this is the arena I like playing in I like being in I like spinning in hello Heather she says hello all hope everyone is safe and well one of beautiful sentiment so we're gonna have some fun tonight everybody Maricroma Maricroma don't let Christmas die Elaine says, awesome name, Keith. I have four kittens, infinite eternity, love, and light. Dig that. <coughs> Don't let Christmas die in you. Christmas is not a time of year, but I do get it. When this season comes around, I start feeling really good about the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of the Christ. Hear me carefully of the Christ mass creation, connection, change. This is exactly what tonight is about. Creation, connection, change. 21 is promising. 21 was very promising because it brought us, many of us, to the promised land. 
And now we get the standing ovation. Or you're an innovator. I sure as the am. Be that. See that. Free that. Tonight is center of light consciousness. Creation. Connection. Change. I am now getting rid of many Lavender Soul CDs. People are asking for them. Thank you. I was selling them at $20 per copy. The singer for Lavender Soul brought over thousands of them. Said, Keith, just take them. Now I'm selling them for $20 for all three copies of this album plus shipping five dollars <laughs> you get three lavender soul albums at six dollars at 25 bucks you can contact me here keith i want the music we'll make it happen <clears throat> this is definitely deaf and i mean deaf as in you can't hear definitely but you may be deaf unless you hear the call. How do you hear the call so you can be in the game? It's the space between the bars that holds the tiger. It's the space between the notes that allows for the music. One of... The things I want to post is this. YouTube is not working. Oh, well. Let me refresh this page here. There we go. Now I'm going to start seeing people's comments so I don't have to change screens or look away. So tonight is Center of Light, Consciousness, Creation, con Connecting, Connection and change. Four things, speaking of which, you can never change. You can never change this. It's not a fact. It's beyond fact. It is the infinite way. It is the truth. What is the truth? You are. You are the living truth. You are Christmas personified. Number one of the things you can never change. You exist. You can never change that. I'm sure you love it. But for those who wish life would be over, you can never change the fact that you exist. That is the truth, and the truth does not need anyone's permission to exist. You exist. Forever will. Always have. Do right now. Number two. All there is, is one. And one is the all. All is the one, and one is the all. You can never change that. You can tell your mom or dad, and there's nothing they can do about it either. You can stand on your head, throw a fit. You can't do anything about it. It's going to get even more beautiful. Number three. What you put out, you get back. You can never change the truth. What you put out, you get back. It's gorgeous, isn't it? The question becomes, are we living our life as a prayer? I am. That is an absolute fact. I live my life daily as a prayer, and I hope you are there. Wow! Living on a prayer, take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. Oh, living on a prayer, living on a prayer. Oh, I don't know. See what I'm saying? Bon Jovi is in it to win it. Are you living your life as a prayer? How do I do that? Fantastic question. Just be happy. 
joyful. Do what you love. Live your birthright. Live your contract. You know, well, Keith, what is my contract? You already know what it is, so quit it. Somewhere inside, if you just took a little moment to investigate, to set, take a self-inquiry, which you already know and is not necessary, what you put out, you get back. There is no punishment. How could God punish any aspect of himself when God is on the present? So in all things is God. You can never out sin the grace of God. You can never out sin the grace of God. Wow. Thank you, Sonia Lyra. You can never out sin the grace of God. Number three of the four things you can never change. What you put out, you get back. Number four. The only thing that will never change is change itself. There's nothing you can do about it. Not a single, solitary thing. The only thing that will never change is change itself. Let's review. You exist. Always have. Do now and forever will. You can't do anything about it. The universe, the cosmos is waiting on us. Number two, in review. All is one and one is all. That's the importance of unity, of not only with yourself, but all people, all solar systems, all galaxies, all in the cosmic realm and the stellar realm, to the infinity that is God, which is the unity of in and of itself. There is nothing to argue about. Simply nothing. You can't undo anything I described to you. You just can't. You exist. <laughs> All there is is one. What you put out, you get back. And the only thing that never changes is change itself. There is no greater spiritual lesson that you will find anywhere except with inside yourself when you bring yourself to this place of following these models, center of light consciousness, creation, connection, change. Creation is the basis, it's the bed. It's that which has been laid, laid down. What happens when you lay down? It's called a bed. It's Creation is that which is, always has, and forever will be. That's what creation is. It's not a linear process. Connection is our opportunity to plug into that system consciously. Tonight is center of light consciousness. Creation, connection, change. And when you plug into that consciously, not only do you change by your illumination, the world itself begins to rearrange by the law of spirit and physics that lives within you, that as you think, so you are. You become the I am when you align with I am, and the I am is what you will see in your world. I'm gonna say in your world, we all want this world to go the way we want it to go, but what we really want, yo, sis, bro, is to know that it's about us. Creation has already been set out. You don't create anything. Stop the pseudo-spirituality. You don't create anything. I get it in the context that we are co-creators and we create our experience. I get that. We create that in the meat suit and the finite aspect of I'm trying to create my life. Well, this is where we have been stifled and stuck for a long time. So let's get out of the I know what you mean, nonsense, the pseudo spirituality. Let's get back to the wild, unbridled spiritual self unleashed into the full possibility, the fire, the divine fire, which is, I don't create anything. It's the divine in the fire that everything has always been created or potential infinitely to ever come about. 
So when we join in that space, the Stargate, the Stargate, that which is beautiful, the Divine Mother says, yes, you can have it. The Divine Mother is so unconditionally loving and generous. She always says, yes, you can have it. Even in our unconsciousness. Yes, you can have it. Well, I didn't ask for it. Yes, you did. What you put out, you will get back. Front and all around. Up and down. <laughs> your abundance of whatever you put out will abound. Are you living your life as a prayer? Creation simply is. Creation did, creation did not happen. Creation did not happen. Creation did not happen. Creation is. It just simply is. So what is it? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you automatically or at least pigeonhole the infinite possibility of what creation actually, truthfully, in reality, as the bed, as the basis is? But it is purposeful. If we ask the question, so what is creation? But don't look for an answer. That is the point. Don't try to answer the question. You want the question to be open-ended. Rhetorical. Just open-ended. What is creation? That leaves the possibility to stand on the platform in the greatest possible expanded station of your life. What is creation? And in the wandering, and in the wandering of the mind and in the heart, we come to find that we are not apart from anything. In this beautiful way, every moment, every day, your life will turn within itself to the powers of ten. Pretty cool, isn't it? Don't get lost in spiritual pseudo nonsense. I am not saying that people who are efforting being teachers are in nonsense. That's not what I'm implying at all. I'm talking about dogma. Whoever brings it up. Simply. The model is your best day, your best second minute hour. That's the model. You are the model. No one else is the model. I'm simply here reminding you, reflecting to you, the simple truth. Pun intended. The simple truth. The truth is not asking you to squint, 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 hint, 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 jack you around, round and round, to a space of that's so profound you can't even fathom it. That's not what the truth is. No one would ever reach it. It's hidden in plain sight. It doesn't require the profound in the way we think it does. That's not profound at all. That's difficulty, nonsense, and noise. The profound is the truly simple truth. It's the simple truth. That's why it's called the simple truth. What does it look like? Well, God is on the present. Go look in the mirror and you will see what it looks like. And as you gaze into the windows of your soul, what is being birthed in you? Is your life an ongoing prayer? Do you dare take that step into nowhere? And in such a place, you will find everything that is the infinite grace. Every day I make strides without effort. My strides are to not stride. I stride in non-striding. Strange in it. Ironic in it. Contrast in it. Word salad. What's the other one? Um, whatever that word is. I'll come up with it later and I'll let you know. I stride in non-striding. It's here. Tonight is center of light consciousness. What is consciousness? Don't ever let, including myself, but I will give it my best attempt. 
don't any let anyone ever convince you of what consciousness is. See, I created a clause for myself. I'm leaving it open-ended, like that question. There's no question about it. Don't doubt it. Consciousness is unbridled. It's wild. It's free. It's fire. You can never contain it. Ever. Tonight's Center of Light Consciousness. Creation. The bed that's already been made and laid forever. Creation didn't happen. It is. Connection. We connect to it. In the cave of Samadhi of your life, I want this, God. I want everything that is anything at all. And I don't mean like I want, I want, I want. It means I am, I am, I am that I am. That's the connectivity. Connection with your divine parents so much so that you lose sight and what you think is you gets shattered in the light. Because it will anyway to all delight and change. And by simply doing these things, you change yourself. You change the world. Center of Light, color. Center of Light online radio in living color. I have lots I'm working on. I will be seeing you shortly. I'm going to take a short pause. Let's see what's happening in the room real quick. Kelly says, I love me some bell pepper. My son and I, we love it. We eat it raw. And believe it or not, the three pack of the traffic light colors, they do have different flavors. They do. Uh, I think the red one is the most sweet. Wow, I love it. <laughs> um, Elaine Leonard says, thank you, blah, blah, blah. They're having a wonderful conversation in the room. I got something pressing. I didn't mean blah, 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 as if it's not important. Um, boom, there it is, the mic drop. Elaine says, yes, Divine Mother is a love beyond the mind, a true knowing from within, the gentle stillness of being. <laughs> Dear Lord. Carmen Shasha says, hello, all you lovely people. Look at all the lovely people, Eleanor Rigby. Abigail, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, I'm searching. I got some mischievousness flowing through this monkey. I'm gonna save it for a bit. I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, let's see what I'm going to play tonight. I'll see you shortly. I contemplate up 
billion stars Leaving my hands to fate That's all I've got All I've got In the summertime I won't have no It's a little bit harder to take Mary Peekmas, everybody. Just want to give you a shout out with some Yuletide greetings and some love. Yeah, I'm going to sing you a Christmas song because I'm in the spirit. Dear Lord, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. You know, I used to think that song said, Feliz, probably not, because I had a big old stanky dog. Roo roo. Remember, y'all, this is the time of year where everybody wants to get warm and fuzzy and cozy and drink some of that egg of a nog. Woo, 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 woo. That's some good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. You can bet on that. Now, remember, you can buy Pete the Creeper present this year, but keep it under $100. Right? Right? Happy New Year to you. Keep it tight. Keep it right. Pete the Creeper's out of here for the night. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Crazy fun, isn't it? <laughs> Peep the creep. There you have it. <laughs> Again, I want to acknowledge my beautiful cat. Kitten cat. Kitten slash cat. Crystal. She's over here on the bed. She runs around all day. But when I light that incense and these candles, it just simply stops. There is truly, it's not a coincidence. This is continuous. There is a knowing that happens within her, and there's a knowing that happens within me that rec recognizes the knowing that's happening within her and an acknowledgement which creates this ongoing bond that she will always allow me to do what brings me joy. Beautiful, in it? 
Simple, isn't it? She just sleeps away. And five minutes before I'm done, sometimes it lasts an hour, sometimes an hour plus, she starts to stretch on the bed. All right. Knowing I'm wrapping things up. That's creation. Center of light consciousness tonight. Creation. Connection. Change. Someone recently today, or at least the last day or so, and I hear it often, I'm going to fess up. I got a message the other day that said in my inbox, what is this name John Baptist? You are so full of ego, I hope you make the change before it's too late. Let me show you what that's about. That is who I am. I am part of a four soul split that is on this earth. Many people are under the umbrella or shelter or the influence, the spiritual influence of, so to speak, John the Baptist energy. The one who announces that one 2,000 years ago or the idea of such a one and what that actually means, the return of the Christ principle. It's easy. But I am a direct spiritual descendant of that energy. Not only have I known that most of my life, but when I met Swamji, let me show you who Swamji is. He told me the same thing. Exactly, what I already knew. The point of this is for those who are curious what that is, why I refer to that. That is the truth for me. It doesn't make me special. It makes me joyful. Let's put that on the shelf. Tonight is Center of Light Consciousness. Creation, connection, change. Carmen, <laughs> she says, I love me some of that, that peep the creep. I'm going to keep doing it. It's fun. It's an alter ego. It's a way for me to play. Uh, Dolores says nine in the house. Nine keeps showing up. Phenomenal. Nine is the number of the divine. Nothing else happens after nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Add all the numbers up and you get 10, which is the beginning. It continues. Nine is the number of the divine because it contains all the other numbers. Um, I want to read you something that I think is very on point for tonight's presentation. But I do want to change the music because the music will change my spirit. Wow. My spirit, our spirit will never change. It'll just put me in a different fractal space, place. Um, that's what I want. Rot Dora. Boop. Boop. It's haunting and daunting. And it's wanting something. Isn't it? Listen. I don't mean listen. I mean listen. As beautiful as it is, it's scary, isn't it? Because it is haunting. The notes, the choices, it's not pleasurable. It's just... It's calling you. Isn't it? Do you feel that? It's taking you out of your comfort zone. From your soul to your bone. That empty space is beautifully scary. The tension, the music's creating, and that under the undertone, the boom, that's constantly there. That's the bed of creation. Check this out. I didn't fabricate this. This is actually transpiring in the moment. Tonight, a center of light consciousness. The people who created this music are conscious. Creation is the drone you hear at the bottom of the music. If you have a stereo, not a phone, you can hear it. Hear it. But the note is an octave lower. 
Mm, it's the bed. It's never going anywhere. And the flute you hear is dancing all around it, all above it. Creation is. It's the long, infinite drone. The foundation, the bed. And the note is low, implying bass, foundation, primal, primordial, guttural, that which everything ri arises from the earth. The Lord rises from the earth, and the Lord is not a man. The Lord is an infinite plan that is your birthright. Connection to it is your birthright as a verb. And change happens naturally when you step back and actually listen to this listen to this piece of music as I'm offering. Connection, excuse me, creation, connection, change. Creation, the base of the music. B-A-S-S -S and B-A-S-E, the bass, boom, 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 bass of the music and the bass, the foundation of the music. Connection are the notes, that which attracts you to like this piece of art. And as an observer and a listener, when you take it in to the heart, change begins to happen. You have been changing since I turned on this piece of creation and your connection to it <laughs> is changing you because you are now congruent. I am a magician, but I'm not here to deceive you or fool you. I'm a wizard to spool you into a place that you can use such spiritual threads to fashion and don a new tapestry. The loom of life, the tree of life is you. Nothing is more important than you. If you believe otherwise, it will take your connectivity and change towards infinite consciousness with God a little longer. I'm learning exponentially. I'm expanding. So what happens in that place is not a learning. It's a feeling of, oh my God, I am truly okay. And I can let go a little more. Oh my God, I am truly, truly, really okay. Then, oh my God, I am so okay. The, the spigot of okayness the life-given water of okayness begins to open up. And next thing you know, you're moving into flow with the water, with the current. On forever, you will go consciously, center of light consciousness tonight, creation, connection, change. I am grateful to 2020. I'm crazy as a loon. There's lots of bliss that exists in craziness in this regard. Don't guard yourself too tight. You will choke off the light. You won't become so bright for others to see you in your vulnerability. In your civility with yourself, there is nothing else. Wherever you go, you are. Because you, my friend, are the rock star. What bar are you setting? Are you constantly being upsetting? Or are you lovingly letting everyone be as they should be, could be, would be, if we didn't have anything to say about it? <laughs> we have lots to say. Where does it take us? It takes us out of consciousness. It takes us out of creation, connection, and the, any possibility ever for change. Good to see you. Merry Christmas, beautiful, sexy people. 
The cave of Samadhi. That place I am talking about tonight. Consciousness. Those who follow my work know that I often use a platform called the cave. It's fun. All these different aspects of Center of Light Radio, Color Center of Light Online Radio, takes me different places inside of myself. But from the cave a few nights ago, the cave of Samadhi, I made a meme out of the presentation that says, when you are in the cave of Samadhi, don't expect to find anything except everything. Chew on that. How does that feel to you? It's the space where nothing happens except everything. And when you treat yourself this way, even in your sin, you sinful, wretched human soul, nothing can outsin God's grace. Chew on that stick of dynamite. Nothing you do, it's impossible. Nothing you do can outsend God's grace. Now what? Changes the game, doesn't it? Nothing you can do ever can outsend God's grace. What about people who murder? We are speaking on a level and a scale of infinity doesn't mean that you're going to be in hell for infinity. You can't, because in, in, in infinity, everything is possible. Everyone gets out of hell. When you die from this earth, possibly you've gotten out of hell for yourself in this moment. Pseudo-spirituality is nonsense. So let's get back down to the basics, the bare bones of it, down to the soul of it. S-O-L-E, the soul reason, or the S-O-U-L, the soul reason, like Pete the Creep said. The soul reason. This year, without exception, I am going to play the Center of Light Christmas Special. Special. The birth of Christ, 2,000 plus years ago. Where is he now? Is he, at in, is he anywhere? Is he here or is he there? And what's coming in the future for humanity? My part of it, my experience with Jesus, our experience with Jesus, uh, your part of it, this special will bring us into a beautiful warm space for the holiday season. Please, I'm asking you, don't let Christmas die in you. Don't let the illusion of the outside world choke that which is the most beautiful thing that is possible that lives in you forever. Let it be what it's gonna be. It's gonna be quiet. Maybe that's what we need, a quiet Christmas. The simple truth. Back to family we go. Back to cosmic family we go. In fact, you are cosmic. Your tribe is cosmic. Cosmic it is. Yo, sis, and bro, as above, so below. Back to the cosmic. We shall go. Always keep with you family, your tribe, definitely not your diatribe, but your unified soul tribe. Keep them with you. Me, we, the, all around you, all around us. There is coming a time where it's, well, actually it's now, it's always been. You lean on me, I lean on you. We lean on we. Together we grew into a greater possibility. Grow. 
I want to grow. Well, how, don't worry about how. Just have the want to grow exponentially, spiritually. I just want to grow. I just want to be on fire. I want to see what happens to people like Keith or whoever it may be. Or can I be the example for other people so that when they look at me and at the weed, they will go, my God, I just want some of that. Can I have a bite of your sandwich? Can I just have a simple bite of your sandwich? When you get to that place, you're eating spiritual man witch or woman witch. Witch. <laughs> Which is it that you're going to choose? Win or lose love song of the blues. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Rebirth the Christ within you. Hence, I'll tell you again. Merry Christmas. And I don't mean happy holidays, presents and lights. And I do mean because that's part of the fuzzy and the warmness and the coziness of the year. I get it. That's fun. I, in fact, I love it. It's my favorite time of year to go out if I ever go out. When I used to play music all the time and it was Christmas season and all the lights and people are gathering and it's warm inside and cold outside. That's gorgeous. But don't let Christmas die in you. If it has... You're not leaving, you're existing. I'll be right back. And you are on my Christmas listing. So I am going to play uh, the Christmas special special. Probably, um, not probably. For sure. The Christmas Eve. I'm sure Swamji, God realized man from India, is going to deliver a Christmas message as well. I'll see you shortly. Love, time to know you are 
Christmas. You remember when you were a child, which you still are. Can you just close your eyes, whether you need to or not? Don't stress, don't strain, don't effort. Simply use your will. This is a powerful spiritual lesson right here spiritual teaching that's coming through me. I feel it. I feel so on fire as it comes through, waiting to come through me. So now it's starting to grow and I can't contain it. Do you remember? Re remember. You are a member. You're just reing it. You're remembering. Don't effort. Don't strain. Don't struggle. Use your will to launch yourself to a moment when you were a child at Christmas. And it simply just shows up. What is that? Don't think, just be with it. And it will be with you. Don't let Christmas die in you. And you got a little older. 12, 13, give or take. And you saw your mom or your dad or both putting presents under the tree. Presents? Your parents? Your divine parents, because your parents are a sub folder of your divine parent, and you will see your divine parent as you see your parents. They're stewards to guide you, to give you grace, love, and nurturing in the present moment. But you caught your parents putting presents under the tree. The tree of life, which is your life. You are the tree of life, and that is the presence and the present. And you came to a conclusion that Santa Claus is not real. Did you not? Did I not? When we saw the love of God fall upon us, it's always been that way. Time to celebrate who we are. We are perfect in every way. Let me share with you. This is, this is just barreling through me like pfft, nobody's business. You are a child and you believed in Santa Claus. The spirit of Christmas, the spirit, the living infinite spirit of the Christ mass, unity with all people. You believed in Santa Claus. Father Christmas, they say in the UK. And you ask for things, and your parents say, what do you think Santa Claus, would you want Santa Claus to know that you would like for Christmas? And magically, delicious, it shows up under the tree, the tree of life, the tree of your life, the Kabbalah. And guess what? This is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the fun in this and I'm saying this in the front so you can understand what it feels like to be me as I offer this to you and as children we magically see our parents divine parent 
parents through the expression or idea of Father Christmas. Such a one that comes to bless us and blissmas. When we actually see it with our own eyes that our parents were the one doing it, we deny it and call it not real. Ah, I'm on to you. I've been lied to. So Santa Claus doesn't exist is the natural conclusion. And I get it in the human, but that is a contusion in the brain. The magic in the spirit of Christmas is the thisus, thismus and the thatmus. Don't let Christmas die in you. Santa Claus is very real. Do you see it? You have to be it, and you will free it. That is what we have been speaking about tonight with Center of Light Consciousness. It's all consciousness. I could swear to you, even though I know that the Easter Bunny is not real, when I was about seven years old, I caught him in my house in South Louisiana. I saw his big head, the costume with the big ears. It was very real to me. The creation always is, always will be. It's never started. Creation, the bed of everything that can ever possibly be in infinity connection to that by doing what is required to be in the omniscience of God the closer you get to God obviously the more you know yo can't go down any other way and change in the world and your life will happen when we don't effort and simply let that happen Let me see what's happening in the room. Uh, I see a couple of spiritual knuckleheads in here, in all love. <laughs> Bo Will is in the house. Shasha, Robert. Uh, let me see what's going on. Uh, Tina's in the house. Hi, Keith. Hi, y'all. I cannot stay, but I'm dropping in to say hello. Merry Christmas. Elaine says, I love Christmas. Beautiful feel of unity. What's up, Bo bro? Good to see you. All right, let me see what time it is. I think I'm going to take a very, one more song break. I may come back and go into vessel mode. That being said, Christmas Eve, I am going to play the Christmas special, special. All about some G's. All about that bass, about that bass, not trouble. Jesus, or the Christ, is the bass. Center of light consciousness. Creation is the base. Connection is the experience. And change is what is going to happen. Gonna be right back. Good to see you. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna play. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Go inside of yourself. Simply ask the question. Don't expect an answer from your guides. If you get an answer, it is not your guides. Well, Keith, don't my guides always answer me? Sometimes no answer is the greatest answer that can possibly be. What am I looking for? It's open-ended. What is it? Ah, if you try to explain that to somebody, you're wasting your time. Not because they're not smart, because this is so beyond smart. Words only soil or sully the sacred. But such things are purposeful to share with someone. I found something. Do your best to describe to them, not by words or ideas but how you appear to them.
how you appear. How can you see something that is not apparent? A parent? <laughs> the parent? A parent? A parent? You can only see that which is apparent. Only that which it appears. The way you will be in your greatest possibility to serve to the greatest level is to simply, as a magician, the Merlin that you are is to whoosh, appear, appear in here. The light has no choice but to be seen. What am I looking for? Look, don't expect an answer. And then ye shall find Merry Christmas.
Ya nada. The last gift, G-I-F, the last gift, G-I-F-T, of the image of a crying, whiny, complaining, little spoiled child. Very relevant. It's not mild. It's to the point. It's a kick in the pants. Let's glance back to a time when you were not so spoiled and your pants was not so soiled. Spirit speaks, obviously. Yanava. In all glee, we offer you a merry Christmas. So now do you believe in Santa Claus? And in the spirit of Christmas, dear Lord, don't let someone squash the truth of absolute innocent magic within you. That would be so tragic. Merry Christmas. Let the love of God fall upon you. It's always been that way. Time to celebrate who you are to the level that you are perfect. In every way you will see your new comings for Christmas. Your stockings will be filled abundantly. Accordingly. Will you allow yourself innocently to believe in Santa Claus again is the question. Christmas is not as dead as you may think as you look out and about in the world. It's giving you contrast and perspective of what true Christmas or the Christ Mass, Christ Mass actually is. Center of Light Consciousness, tonight's theme. Subfolder, creation, the bass, B-A-S-S, -S, you hear in the music, and you are the muse. Quite amusing, isn't it? 
and the BASE, BASE, the foundation of all things, is the underlying current connection, the ability to consciously be a part of that. And because of that, you change the world. The flag of love, hope, peace, and light within you unfurls simply by accepting your Christmas gift, gift, present, presence. Dear Lord, you are so blessed.